Hello, I'm Daniel Hines with Steiner Books, here today with author John Bloom to discuss his book, Inhabiting Interdependence. John, tell us, uh, what can people look forward to if they were to open that book and spend some time with it? Sure, Inhabiting Interdependence was really a, a collection of essays exploring uh, and unpacking a lot of the assumptions that we have about our behavior and our thinking in the current economy and what needs to be transformed in order to step into the new economy or the next economy in a way that doesn't uh, just replicate the old economy, only maybe we feel better about it. And by mm -hmm. that I mean really be looking at this, what is salary, how do we pay people, mm -hmm. um, why, what does governance look like and how might we rethink governance. Um, what's fiduciary responsibility? How might we rethink fiduciary responsibility? Mm -hmm. uh, our relationship to banks and banking and the circulation of funds uh, and the relationships that develop there. So it was really, um, it's called inhabiting interdependence because uh, we have a lot of old habits and old habits die hard. Mm -hmm. And I try to make the case that it's time to let go of some of the old habits so that the new can really emerge and they don't, those habits don't kind of get in the way of um, building the next economy. Mm -hmm. Well, so that's a, a pretty ambitious scope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe some uh, people might be tempted to say, well, you know, why should we rethink any of these things? Obviously, um, the economy seems to be working just fine. It's generated more wealth and more material goods than you know, any other period in human history. What's the problem here? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm reminded of the uh, New Yorker cover um, that came out maybe three years ago or so. It was mm -hmm. about the time of Occupy, Occupy Wall Street. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was uh, bankers, it was the Monopoly top hat bankers, right? Okay, the yeah, mustaches yeah. and top hats <laughs> all marching down the street uh, with signs saying, we think it's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. 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 So it kind of Which depends is, on your perspective. Uh, right, it depends on your perspective and I think it's really important to keep in mind that it depends on your perspective and not assume um, that uh, uh, that everything is either fine or not fine because there's mm -hmm. many there's a big gray space in between the two but I think um, statistically the disparity of wealth uh, mm -hmm. has left a huge gap um, um, that has a lot of people really struggling and uh, not knowing exactly how to find work the manufacturing mm -hmm. sector has changed the world of work has changed Mm -hmm. um, families have changed. Uh, in fact, the whole notion of community, I think, has really changed in many ways. Mm -hmm. And the result is that how we operate economically has also also changed. Mm -hmm. um, I would also say if you go back, mm, say, 30 years or so, uh, I don't think the, there were credit cards, no question <laughs> about it, but they were often store charge cards mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, you know, electronic payments and now are moving uh, phone to phone and you know very very quickly so the whole world of how we are in the economy the money world the financial world is happening really really fast uh, mm -hmm. and and there's beauty in how fast it's moved because it made things very possible mm -hmm. but there's also an, a kind of a, an unconsciousness that can develop when things move that fast um, yeah so I think you know there's a lot to be rediscovered in Mm -hmm. slowing our thinking down around transactions and around mm -hmm. money about how uh, how we govern our uses of money even mm -hmm. in organizations mm -hmm. uh, and also if you think about um, what's led to some of that disparity in wealth uh, right now fiduciary responsibility says uh, our job is to maximize return Right. If you We're leave an opportunity on the table, then you're doing your job wrong. Right. right. Yeah. And so our, our job is to maximize return regardless of the consequence to the rest of the environment or to people or otherwise. And that mm -hmm. um, has gotten us into some real problems. Mm -hmm. It's generated a tremendous amount of wealth for a rel relatively limited number of people, but mm -hmm. it's also trashed the environment and it's made for other social issues and social problems that mm -hmm. are, are totally unaddressed. Right. Uh, so it's left. We're left with the question of how do we build or mm -hmm. rebuild community wealth? What mm -hmm. might that look like? How might we find yeah. a connection to the land and and agriculture and the food systems that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is not about that uh, can't be abstracted product. away? Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, thank you, John. That sounds like yeah. a fascinating read. 
Um, <laughs> I hope our viewers will take a chance to, opportunity to pick up the book. Um, you won't be disappointed.